Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I want to show you where Villeneuve's team shot parts of Dune. I saw the movie a week or so ago and it's great. Being a huge Dune fan and being curious, I got this idea of flying the ornithopter around the desert and I don't know, if I like the footage, why not make a video about it? So here we are. Yes, I liked it, huh? The Dune production team used the Wadi Ram Desert in the southern area of Jordan as the landscape for the vast desert planet Arrakis. Its terrain has a natural reddish tint that perfectly mimics Herbert's depiction of Arrakis, as well as its extreme heat and the reddish spice mixed into the sand and air. Without further ado, I'll show you where I took off and where I was heading for about 50 or 55 miles before I entered the valley or the desert. The Dune expansion released on February 15, 2024 is available as a free download from the marketplace. It allows Microsoft Flight Simulator pilots to fly the Royal Atreides Ornithopter. It comes with some tutorials and pretty cool challenges. Ornithopters, also commonly referred to as topters, were the most common small transport vessels in the Imperium. These aircraft were capable of carrying six passengers, nine if the back seats were removed. Topters were also very versatile. While they are capable of space travel over short distances, these small vessels were mostly operated in planetary atmospheres. Their uses varied from human transport between cities and continents to light cargo transport across long distances, as the ornithopter have a pretty high autonomy. Doctors were often used for military purpose and equipped with weaponry. Usually these weapons were blast guns, but they could also carry small missiles and repeating MOLA pistols. With the exception of the planet Arrakis and for heavier cargo transportation, most ornithopters were equipped with shields. These are winged vessels that were capable of flight through jet propulsion as well as by mimicking the movements of birds. I hope I didn't bore you with this long introduction, but I figured it's more interesting than explaining the startup and takeoff because it's a very straightforward task. And to be frank, I just press the few buttons randomly until the thing just starts. <laughs> so I'll just tell you what controls you need to map. You need toggle ornithopter glide mode and dive mode, as well as the wings break and the afterburner and of course wing fold toggle that's it now you can go have fun with your ornithopter sadly the interior experience with the topter is pretty sad as the audio feedback is very poor i really hope they increase the volumes in this thing because it's the only vehicle i feel the need to fly from the outside camera and sadly flight recorder software i use doesn't record wing movements when i dive or glide so one more reason to record in the exterior cam anyway i'll get back after we reach the valley enjoy the flight from the outside of course
This part of the world is not so detailed, sadly, and some of the cliffs are looking pretty sad. But still, it's a nice area to explore, especially at sunset. It's more rockier than I expected. I would have liked to know the exact locations where they took the shots used in the movies to go land there, but this will have to do. If someone knows and tells me in the comments, I will pin the comment. To land, you just need to use the wings brake and reduce power and can even pitch up a bit to slow down, like in a helicopter I suppose. Extend the landing gears and keep reducing that throttle. The sounds and feeling when you dive are pretty cool, so flying the ornithopter low and fast from the exterior camera was pretty cool experience. The controls are easy to learn and the vehicle can be good fun for an hour or two. The lackluster sounds in the cockpit hold this add-on back in my opinion, not the simplicity of the cockpit or anything really. I like the design of the topter because in Dune, since humans bend computers and AI, it makes sense to have such... I don't know, simple analog interfaces. I failed to realize the destination airport is in fact a highway strip. So I landed somewhere nearby. Nobody cares though, right? And this is pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed my little free tour of Wadi Ram Desert in Jordan. Drop a like and subscribe if you liked it, since I will revisit Microsoft Flight Simulator from time to time and I will play the hell out of Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 when it comes out. Until next time, take care and see ya.